Hey guys, so I know it's been a little while since I filmed and I'm really really sorry about that and I'm also have to apologize that this video is going up so late, but I am so sick. <laughs> I actually wasn't going to film today, but I just feel really bad that I haven't got it done and I need to get it done. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can't even like breathe through that nostril. <coughs> oh, that's kind of gross. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, so excuse my appearance and the fact that I'm filming in my bedroom is because my son is finally, finally taking a nap. Oh my god, I've been trying for hours to get him to take a nap. Uh, anyway, so I'm really, really sick, and also another reason why I haven't filmed in a little while is because I just started a new job. As you guys know, I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past, like, year, year and three months, so it's something that I'm adjusting to. I haven't worked in a while, so that's crazy it feels good to work but at the same time I'm like ugh. <laughs> I actually had to call in sick today which sucks because I just started this job but I am just way too sick to be trying to work today anyway so today I'm gonna do my boxy charm and my ipsy unboxing I'm just gonna put them in one video for you guys so um I'm not gonna lie I already opened these because they came like a week ago and I, I've seriously been sick for like a week <laughs> And I was dying to open them, so I kind of opened them. So let's just get right into it. Let's start with my Ipsy. My nose is running. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, where are my tissues? I'm going to pause this while I blow my nose. Okay, and we're back. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so let's start with Ipsy. And the theme this month, this is the little card. And it's so cute this month. It's so girly and pastel. And it says Sugar Highness. And I think the theme is Live That Fantasy back here. It says Pop the Champagne Cans. <laughs> Deck yourself in ring pops. Get gorgeously glammed up and dip into something. Dimp dip into everyday decadence gone wildly galore oh my gosh i'm sorry bear with me if i'm a little scatterbrained okay so this is what the bag looks like and i believe michelle fawn actually designed the bags this month which is so cute and it's so pastel and pretty and i don't know why but it makes me think of like a mermaid uh, is that just me or am i weird it's like so pretty and they're leather this month and the back is just plain white and the zipper is pastel pink it matches my nails. Okay, so the first thing in the box bag, in the bag this month, is by It Cosmetics, and it is uh, the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, and it says Clinic. Oh my god, clinically proven anti-aging long wear pencil infused with hydrolyzed hydrolyzed silk. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Collagen, peptides, and antioxidants. Let's open it up. I actually haven't opened this one yet. It's a little tiny eyeliner. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, oh, awesome. It's not like a sharpening kind, it's the kind you roll, but it's teeny tiny mini. Let's see. Oh, it's super creamy and dark. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, that's just one little swipe. Super creamy and dark. Um, I'll come back to that at the end and see if it kind of like sets itself, if that makes sense. Okay, the next thing is this, and I haven't opened this either. This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Sun Dreams Lotus Infused Bronzer in Sunkissed. I have like, aw, I tore it. I have like an issue opening packages. I don't know. It's just me. This is what it looks like. Oh, upside down. It's got a little unicorn on it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it has like a little sunburst. It feels really silky. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really pretty. It's got like almost a shimmer to it, I want to say. Maybe like a sheen would be the right word. I don't know, but it's really pretty. So there's that. And they don't have the pricing in these. I wish they would start including the pricing because... Oh. I just glanced in these. I have no idea. Another Ciate? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ciate nail polish in the color 
spinning teacup. Oh, cute. And it's like a pastel purple. I have tried these and I think it's, I've gotten them all from Ipsy bags. I have like three of these and so far I like them. They do chip. So you might want to wear like a chip resistant clear coat with them, but I do like the colors. They, all the ones that I've received have been pastel. So yeah, I'm sure I will wear that. Purple's my favorite color. So the next thing in the bag is by Organic Surge Daily Care Perfecting Face Polish. Suitable for sens sensitive skin with pure rosemary and lemon essential oils. What is this? Like a primer? Perfectly polished. We've taken finely ground olive stones and bound them in a lotion made with moisturizing oils and soothing herbal extracts, creating a gently exfoliating skin treat to help. So it's like a, a exfoliator, I guess. Reveal your natural beauty. Massage gently over damp skin, then rinse off with warm water. Okay, so it's like a exfoliator. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's pretty thick, and it looks like it has little brown chunkies in there. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to smell this. Oh, it's a very subtle exfoliator. I can smell that through my stuffy nose. It smells really good, like lemony kind of. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled the microdermabrasion scrub from... Oh god, who's that from? I don't know, but it's like citrusy smelling. It smells really, really good. So there's that. That smells good. I will definitely use that. And the last thing in the bag is from Winky Lux. And it is the Diamond Powders Are Girl's Best Friend in Light. This foundation powder contains genuine crushed diamonds for the ultimate coverage and glow. What? So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. Teeny tiny. It's a foundation powder, I guess. And I just tore the box. Oh my god. I'm just going to demolish this box then. <laughs> oh, it's pink. Like I said, I didn't really like open anything. I just kind of looked, glanced in the bags bag and box. Oh my god. I'm going to chip my nails trying to get this open. How can I open this for? Oh! Aww. I don't know if I just did that or if it was already crushed, but it's crushed. Just the corner. Aww. Fooey. Oh well. Okay, so let's... Ooh, that is seriously full coverage powder there, guys. I don't know if you can tell. It's pretty silky, too. Oh, my gosh. It smells good, too. I have to blow my nose again. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not just ran down my nose. That's so disgusting. Okay, so these were the products in the box this bag this month. And honestly, I'm not mad about any of these. I think I will use each and every single one of these, except maybe this powder, the diamond powder. I might just pass that on to my sister because I'm not a huge powder fan fan. I just feel like it makes me look cakey. But I will try them, try it out and see what I think. And if I decide I don't like it, I'll just pass that puppy on to my sister. So that was the Ipsy this month. Super cute. I love that bag. I will definitely use that bag for something. Let's wipe off this exfoliator. Okay, let's test this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm like rubbing that hard. <gasps> what? That's a cream liner and it like doesn't come off. That's crazy. I can't wait to use that. Especially my waterline. Like eyeliner does not stay on me very well. If I love that, I'm definitely repurchasing it. Okay. On to the Boxygen. And like I said, I just glanced in here. This is what the Boxygen paper looks like <laughs> this month. Oh. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but they changed their boxes. Let me close it back up. It's no longer that shiny, like, impossible to show on camera kind of box. Like, they used to be shiny, and now they're matte black. And when you open it, it says, Boxy, hashtag BoxyCharm, and then it says, hello, charmers. And then, you know, the box inside. But I think that's so cute. I really like the change of the box. So I noticed that there's, like, no, none of that weird, frilly black stuff in here that there's normally, which gets all over my floor and my son tries to eat. So that's nice. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I see is from Aloe Pure Skincare, and it is the Time Repair Serum. Oh, 
from Alouette, maybe, I think, is the brand. I don't know. Let's see what this is. Smooth away appearance of lines and wrinkles with age-defying green tea extract and alpha and beta, beta hydroxy acids. How to apply. Apply a small amount to clean skin in the e morning and evening. So it's like a serum, I guess. Ooh, and it's a glass bottle. That's nice looking. Oh my gosh, that's pretty big too. It's one fluid ounce. I mean, and it's got a pump. Let's smell it. Try to smell it. So I can get it to come out. It feels like a really, really light lotion to me. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. Okay, I know there's going to be those people out there that say that it smells like nail polish. And maybe it does, but I love the smell of this. Like, I could just sit here sniffing this all day. Ooh, it feels so silky once it's, like, rubbed in. It At first, when you first put it on, it feels like a really light lotion. But then after it sits, it feels like silk. Like, it smells so good. Oh my god. Okay, the next thing I see is from Beauty for Real. This looks like eyeliner, maybe? No. No. A shadow stick. It is their shadow sticks. All day latte. Oh, it's like a crayon. And it's a roll-up card, which is nice. And I, I think it's like a brownish, almost purple color. Ooh, ooh. That is so pretty, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's like a mocha brown, like. And it feels really nice. It kind of dries into a powdery consistency, if that makes sense. That is what it looks like blended. It looks like it does have some glitter in it. Very, very fine silver glitter. Pretty. Can't wait to try that. Wonder if it'll crease. We will try. Let uh, you guys know what I think. Oh my gosh, this trash pile just keeps piling higher and higher and higher. Okay, so the next thing is another long to be looking thing, and it is the Max Lash Volumizer Mascara from. It looks like Dow. Do Do a Dow? I don't. I don't. Know. I don't. Know. Maximizes and defines lashes with instant volumes. No clumps, no smudging. Volumizer mascara with max lash effect. Who is that one? Oh my god. I love getting mascaras in these boxes. Am I the only one that loves that? <gasps> the wand is so huge. <laughs> I'm sorry. I freaked out. The wand is enormous. I love that. Look how huge it is, like right up on my face. Like That's pretty big. I can get all my lashes. I don't know if this would be good for your bottom lashes necessarily, but for your top lashes, definitely. All right. Excited about that. Okay. The next thing. Oh, my gosh. This box. I'm so excited about the last thing I see in here. The next thing is another little tube, and it says Dirty Little Secret on it. And nothing else. Ingredients. Dirty Little Secret. Whatever this is, it says Phantom at the bottom. So I'm assuming that's the color. Oh, it says Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. Ooh, in Phantom. Oh my goodness. That is like a bright orangey red. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's so pretty. Let's see what it feels like. It feels very light. Like, thin and light. But it's intense color. Like... That's so pretty. Let's see what it kind of moves around like when it's dry. So I will let that dry while I get into the rest of the box. Okay, the last thing I see in the box. Oh, wait, there's two more things. Okay, I see a coupon from Alouette. Double the fun. Shop and save with Alouette. Order within 10 days to get 25% off your next purchase. Well, it looks like they sell lipsticks and stuff. So we all get some Okay, the last thing I see is by Coastal Sense, and it is the br Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette and Brush Combo. Brush combo. Oh my gosh, how cute! It comes with a little brush! Okay, let's check out the brush first, because I am all about brushes. Oh my gosh, my nose is running again. Okay, now that I blew my nose, let's get this brush out. Oh my gosh. That brush is so soft. Oh, am I the only one that does this with new brushes? Like, oh my god. 
Let me have to wash this for a second. That feels so soft. It's like a little angled fluffy brush. And it's so soft. I wish you guys could just like reach through the camera and feel this. Like it's so soft. It looks like a little mini kabuki brush kind of. A little bit like with the bamboo looking stick. That's so cute. I'm so excited. Ah. Okay. Onward. <laughs> Let's wrap and bubble wrap. Okay, I might have to tear this box to get this out. I'm just gonna tear it. Okay. Box is demolished. I can't even get the bubble wrap off of this thing. Ugh. Okay. This is what it looks like. And it's like a cardboard kind of feel. Kind of like a... What brand am I thinking? The Bomb. Oh, oh there's a little plastic thing. In there. A little plastic protector. And it is a blush and bronzer palette. That looks like it has a little highlight in here too. Let's just swatch all of these. I'm going to swatch the highlight first. I guess it's like a highlight. Yeah, it's a little shiny. And then the lighter blush. Then the darker blush. Wow, the color on these is intense. I might want to be careful with this. Then the lighter bronzer. Okay. So these are the colors in here. And I don't know if you guys can really see that highlight, but it is kind of pretty. It's very subtle. If you like a subtle highlight, I'm sure you will like this highlight right here. You can see that, but here are the blushes. Super intense color, like pigment. I didn't. I didn't even really have to rub them that hard. The bronzers are really pretty too. I mean, guys, I'm digging this. I'm digging this little set. Cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. This would be so easy to pack to go like on a trip or anything like that because it is cardboard, so you don't have to worry about it falling and smashing on the ground or anything like that. Loving it. Loving it. So so. <laughs> oh my gosh okay so let's look at everything together that came in the box this month oh my gosh ipsy and boxy charm kind of like outdid themselves this month like look at that that's one two three four five if you count the brush six products in here six this month that's crazy six in here i think five in the ipsy i'm loving everything i got every single thing from both of these this is why i'm subscribed um, if you guys are not subscribed, I will have the links in the description box below for my referral. If you're going to subscribe, please click on my referral because it gives me extra points. And when you get points from, at least from Ipsy, I'm not really sure about the BoxyCharm points. I will have to do some more research into that. But I know with Ipsy, if you people subscribe, you get extra points and then you can get extra items. And I think if you use the referral code, you guys get extra points too. So it's not just me. I don't know for sure about that. But, you know, don't you know you could always check it out anyway if you're not subscribed i would totally subscribe like um actually let's look at the prices of this stuff let's see this palette is worth 13.95 plus six dollars for this brush so right there that's that's almost as much as i pay for the box almost it's 21 dollars a month for the boxy charm so right there and then with this lipstick, what is this sturdy little secret? Ten dollars. So right there, over the over the price of the box, just three items. Over the price of the box. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, <laughs> that is awesome. It dried matte, and it's staying in place, and it doesn't look like it feathered very badly. Which obviously, things on your hand are gonna feather worse. But I don't even think it feathered at all. Maybe it's just me. I'm loving that. I don't know where I will wear that, but I will wear it. Okay, the next thing is the Beauty For Real uh, Shadow Stick, and it is $19 for this thing. Way over the price of the box. And my nose is running. Let me just wipe my snot away on camera. Okay, the eyelash, the mascara is $22, so this alone is costs a dollar more than what you're paying for the box. Bam. And then the re time repair serum, oh my gosh, is $48. This is full size and it's $48, guys. $48 freaking dollars. I hope it works because I don't, 
I mean, I hope I don't fall in love with it because I don't think I can afford to buy that again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the prices for everything on the box this month. This card is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm going to keep this. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed, I definitely would. I mean, this is not sponsored in any way. It's my personal opinion, but I don't think I will ever unsubscribe from either of these. I have considered a couple years ago unsubscribing from Ipsy, but I never did, and I'm glad I stuck around. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video today, and subscribe!